Let me tell you something, brother. That's so glorious and majestic. Let me tell you about the hoodies of paradise. Ooh, yeah. As my friend Macho would say, ooh, yeah. What or who are the hoodies? They are the firm breasted whores of paradise. Did you know that each one of them, their chest will be larger than my chest? And that is a feat that only Allah can perform. <laughs> Look at this chest, baby. But can you imagine? A hoodie with a bigger chest than mine. And you know what's beautiful about those hoodies? Every time you have sex with them, every time that they experience one of the 24 inch pythons, brother, they go back to being virginal again. And that is the miracle of Allah and his messenger. Ha 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 ha. What you gonna do when the hurries smack you with one of their chests all over you? <laughs> Yo, you guys, let's go get some more Muta. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you guys wanna go get some more Muta? Muta? Yeah, to make, to make you feel good. Money. Muta costs money. Do you money. see this, what I'm looking at? Money, These man. are bills. A lot of them are past due. Uh, Bro, dude. I'm trying to get some more moo moo, baby. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Can't even pay the doctor, get... dummy. Some more moo moo. We need some more moo moo money. Oh. We need some more money. We're running out of money. We're all si <coughs> I'm running out of Muta. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh. running out of Muta. We're all sick. Guys, and we want to go rob another Christian? Rob another Christian. There's got to be a better way. We'll go around the same get... Christian. He had all that money from charity before. We took it. He might have been getting more money from charity from kids. And, and then we can get some more Muta, baby. There's got to be a better way to get money oh, as Muslims oh. besides robbing Christians. There's got to be oh, a better way. just shut up. I'm about to throw up. Backpack, what's a better way to get money from Christians? Surah 9, verse 29. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden which has been forbidden by Allah and His Messenger, nor acknowledge the religion of truth from among the people of the book, Jews and Christians, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. You fight them until they pay the jizya. This means that they become your dhimmi. It's a second class citizen who acknowledges his inferiority by paying you half his money. And the justification for it is in the next verse. It says the Jews call Ezra son of God and Christians call Christ the son of God. Calls on Allah to destroy us. So basically Allah is going to destroy them and we force them to pay us in the meantime to help them acknowledge their true status. That's good. That's weird, though. You know, I never knew the Jews called Ezra the son of God. But uh, anyway, this is well, better. Who, who are you going to believe, Jews or Allah? Allah says that the Jews say it. Allah every time. Can we just stop fighting about this? More money, more muta. All, All right. right. I don't feel like I can even move. So, uh, Giovanni, you go find us a demi. I know just the person. Wow. This Look. is a steady, reliable source of income. Better than just robbing the person one time. We're gonna rob them again, and again, and again, and again. Shut up, go get us a Jimmy, dude. And all I need is this phone. I'll be back. Yo, is he all right? Yo. Hello? It's Giovanni, you're a friendly neighborhood Salafi man. Hey, look, man, look. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm calling. I want to help you. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oh that's cool. What's up? Yes, um, if you want to avoid the trouble of having your neck removed from your shoulders, then you'll come right next door right now and sign a contract. Uh, why would I do that? Listen, the trouble I'm talking about is me and my brothers. Remember them? Coming over to your house again, robbing you, taking your other broom, 
eating your food, raping your wife, killing all your little children, unless one of them is a minor of marriable age, which means she could be approximately six to nine, in which case we prefer to kidnap her. Eating my food? Yes. Only if it's halal. Do you have any dates? Uh, I don't know about this. Listen, we know where you live. All right, how's it going, YouTube? We are continuing our vlogs. The Halal Heroes are continuing the vlogs, exploring our 30-day journey following Muhammad's teachings. And today is an exciting mm -hmm. day because Giovanni made his very first Demi. Tell us about that. All it takes is a little intimidation, extortion, and a phone call. This is the coolest thing ever. Muhammad's teachings are just... My mind's blown right now. I mean, you threaten someone after harming them, and you tell them you're going to threaten them further unless they pay you money. And they believe you. Yes, which is because well, you've hurt them once. I know. Which is exactly what we did to our neighbor, and now we get half his paycheck. Half of his paycheck. Imagine, he's out there doing the work. <laughs> he's out there doing the work, but he's giving it to us. Are you understanding? Are you people understanding how wonderful and amazing Islam is? Have you understood how Allah blesses us, that he makes other people do the work, and we reap the benefits? Mm -hmm. Have you understand how amazing this is? This is the power of Islam. Islam is super great. I mean, everyone should become a Muslim. Wait, if everyone became that a Muslim, yeah, that wouldn't work. then how would we get the money? Well, that wouldn't work, right? That's why not everyone's going to become become a Muslim. Because then we no, couldn't have dimmies. Then, then, then who's going to be in hell? Thur, come on. So, uh, no, but I, I mean, uh, stay on I'll stay on track here. Now, yeah. now think about how amazing this is, right? How amazing this is. How is this not from God? Who could have thought? Who could have thought of a brilliant plan like this? You threaten people and make them pay you money, and then they're paying you for their own protection from the threat that you pose. This is Islam. This is the Quran. These are the teachings of Muhammad. Praise Allah.